Alright guys, welcome to MadnEdge.com and this is the Texans video and this video is a very good one um, because the Texans the only thing they do well in the secondary is cover okay well zone cover actually so let's go to their roster so I can show you this their man coverage is horrible and so this is why I kinda like playing with teams like this is because if you're paying attention I'm gonna get into the zone coverage in a minute this is just a wide receiver but if you're paying attention then you know offhand what you can and cannot do now I played with this team before and didn't look at the lineup so as you can see I got the ends there these are the tackles they're both pretty athletic so as you can see I'm probably going to run this cover too and in fact I did just use the um, the Colts playbook because I was using it just to uh, practice with these guys after I was done with the Colts uh, and I did okay with them but it wasn't until I, I started playing this way that um, I was able to do really well with them so right now look we're checking out this guy's zone coverage ability zone and man man 71 gonna move it over here in a minute alright we're at the corners right now but we're gonna go back alright zone 82 that's pretty high so both of the of the corners are in the 80s alright that's the starting outside backer that was 79 there's the other outside linebacker the 73 decent um, so as, as we can see doing that pretty quick but everybody was up there near 80 okay um, and the man coverages were low so what's, what that's telling you is that you have a bunch of smart guys there um, you know who are pretty athletic because you have to be pretty athletic to cover in, into the 80s but um, for whatever reason they're not very good at man coverage so here are the audibles guys and since I knew I couldn't man because a lot of times to stop the run you go into man blitzes right so I knew I couldn't man so what I had to do then was um I had to actually have zone blitzes that took away either the left or right side so as you can see here once this goes back on well we'll get into the audibles in the book or whatever because I cut it off but as you can see so basically guys what I'm doing here is I'm having a a nice zone play that is stopping the run to the left one that is stopping the run to the right uh, and then I have zone plays that take away different parts if you want to see these plays unblacked out then go ahead and get the ebook and you'll have access to this video um, and you also have access to the plays uh, through the Matt and Edge ebook as well as access to the unblacked out video on the site alright so the ends as you guys can see they were studs right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run somewhat of a cover too um, but these guys are not as good in coverage as the Colts so I did mix in some things and also made sure that almost every time I was in a passing situation I dropped the secondary back what this did was um, pretty much uh, increase those guys coverage um, abilities deep because I'm giving them four or five uh, feet to play with or actually about four or five yards to play with but I mean when you're dealing with a speed burner then that makes all the difference in the world so we have uh, stud defensive linemen and good coverage um, well stud ends and then good coverage behind them and we have a stud offensive player two stud offensive players and um, the uh, tailback whose name I don't know for sure right now and then of course we have uh, the natural Andre Johnson so I'm going to try and give a heavy dosage of, of, of those guys if possible right
and I'm telling you to never, ever, ever call a man defense with these guys. They just can't cover. They can't cover any decent guys, so don't do it. Uh, which is why I had to have play one as my run stopper left and play three and four as my run stoppers right. Okay? Um, and that's pretty much it. Similar to the cover two guys, what happens here is um, if you call the right type of zone, they don't have much time to go to their second read. So it's going to be rushed or hurried. And um, if you want to know more about the offense that I'm running, this is the Madden Edge uh, Far Twins and the Madden Edge Week. Uh, those are the sets that I run out of now. Uh, and the defense, um, right now I'm just getting back to my old ways of just trying to find a um, a uh, defense that works with each team. And this one does work very well with it. Um, once I figure out, once I stop the opponent's run on the first drive, I pretty much shut them down after that. And it's going to be with uh, that play one and the play three and four. But yeah, this offense is in the ebook as well. So if you want to know exactly what I'm doing, go ahead and get that. And this is a good safety that we're dealing with. Cox and I don't mess with him anymore. As you'll see. All right, so this guy's going to come out running. And I had most of these audibles set, as you saw, but play uh, play six over there was not set, and play three and four were not set in the beginning. So he's just going to be running, and he's going to keep running, and then I'm going to say, okay, I have to stop the run. And then he doesn't adjust very well after that after I adjusted him. So as you can see, I'm trying to get right. I don't know. Um, I think that was a play one. We'll see. Yeah, I flipped it. Thought he was going that way. And he goes, of course, opposite of that. So which is why, you know, and he's most time he's running to where his tight end is. So, and actually guys, once I get play three and four in there, I believe that I'm flipping that too, so that I can have that, um, that, off uh, that, flat coverage a little quicker uh, but I, I don't get that until next series As, uh, that's a play one but I'm going wrong side don't really have time to audible uh, which is why you know so now I know that I'm going up against a runner okay so I think next series I'm going to get it right and I'm going to put in uh, I'm going to use play one Every time he lines up in a strong set that looks like he's going to go left with the run, and I'm going to use play three and four and flip it when I believe that he's going to run right. And once I, once I figure that out, then his whole offense was pretty stopped. I was pretty much stopped. But we got to get some points on the board. Um, took Cushing, who's a great backer, and put him on the um, on the line. And so now, pretty much, I have to in order to stop the run. Um, I have a pretty good middle backer there. So so if I had another outside linebacker to help, then I wouldn't have to be so definite um, in the ways that I was going to try and stop the run. But um, that's what I was saying about playing with uh, with these somewhat weaker teams. It makes you know exactly what you have to do. So I know that I'm going to have to stop the run um, with a good zone blitz going left and a good zone blitz going right. So, it's, I mean, it just pretty much, you know, spells out the game plan for you when you're playing with a team 
who can cover well, but they don't they don't do anything else, you know, very well. Then, you know, you need extra people to help them out. Now, the one thing that they do have is good defensive linemen, so they're not going to have time to go to a second and third read. If you keep those guys, um, if you keep them attacking the pressure. Now, speaking of that, guys, when we're dealing with play two, um, we took this from the actual cover two pack that we were doing. But when we're dealing with play two, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that that um, the left end is not stunting in. We're going to blitz him and make sure that he's getting up the field to attack the quarterback. And you will see why. Speaking of that, guys, these guys, wow. It's good. I mean, you'll be hard pressed to find ends who sack this much if you run this defense. Uh, and as you can see, you had good coverage behind you. So this it turns this team into a really good team because we know that the offense is, you know, just studded, right? And there we go. We got, see, that's what I'm talking about. We got the natural one on one right there. And we'll take that all day. Uh, just got to make sure you throw him, you know, the ball to where. He has the advantage and not to where Cox has it. So um, that was that. So, yeah, I had practiced with these guys before uh, on the same profile and played some pretty good players and ended up losing because I went into man. And I just said, oh, why? Wow. Every time I went into man, they got beat. Um, now, if you if you do some type of man blitz and you get in, that's fine. But if you don't get in, your guys are going to get beat. So I came up with this. So if you want these packs, go ahead and check out the ebooks. And the video will also be unblocked. All right, so as you can see, we are doing um, a one. All right, and so got that flipped a little bit. And even though he got five, it's, it's going to start getting shut down. And he's, he's not going to stick with the run. And with, you know, with these set of, of um, with these set of audibles, um, if I call the right play, you're really not going to be completing stuff against these guys. As you can see, we're we're going into that one. He's flipping it, and we'll see if I flip. As you can see, I did. Now, okay, you saw I flipped it. The safety comes up. He was a little late. Um, so against a good runner, you know, you kind of have to decide. You know, do I use her that safety who's coming up or what? But as you can see, um, right in there, if I had a user that safety, then it would have been stopped. So he, his run is pretty much just about there. Um, oh, here we go. Now, all I got to do is, and that's a play three and four. All I got to do is um, make sure I got that going the right way. All right. So now I don't have to, you know, flip. I can just call this audible or, or that audible. And then... Um, it's going to take a really great effort to get a run going. So I can tell he's going to stick with it. As you can see, I flipped that there, right? And so now, let's see what happens. And as you can see, he wasn't going to get it, but because we had the exact right play call on, he also loses yards. Okay. And you want a running team to be, you know, behind the ball like that. First and 12, first and 20, second and eight. Because then if you make that one good play and get them into, let's say, a third and six, third and seven, third and five, you know, then they have to gamble. So right now I'm just making sure I flipped it right. And we'll see how it works. 
He's been play action, and there's one sack. All right. And right then, guys, I didn't believe that he was going to run. If he had a run, he, you know, might have got a decent game. But uh, I just felt that because it was second and 20, and I had just, uh, you know, uh, showed some success uh, against the last two running plays, even though um, on the one he did hit the corner, but it was, you know, it was tough. I had it defended correctly um, that he was going to pass. And so now look at him. So now here's the cushion, the end we were talking about doing his job, okay? So this is why, guys, I don't need cushing in the um I don't need him at the backer because I don't believe his zone coverage is is that high. Um certainly it's not as high as the guy who's in there. So um he saw a lot of zone coverage. It was good zone coverage, and he just didn't have time to go anywhere else and cushing, you know, forces that. Guys, I believe this is, um, I believe that was a play five, okay? So there was another sack from the ends um, because we knew exactly what he was going to try and do, okay? That's what I was talking about, let these ends do their thing. So um, obviously um, running the cover two defense is very fun, and so I'm just kind of doing that right now, but Obviously, I had to adjust these guys a little bit because they're not um, as athletically gifted as the Colts. So this is a really good, this version here, is, I think, is actually more aggressive because it has plays in there to stop the run. Because with the Colts, you know, we were kind of just saying, okay, they have the good athletes, you know, at the end and at the backer. So just as long as, you know, I mean, a guy is just not beasting the run, you know, you're probably going to stop it. Well, these guys, they don't have those type of things. So we have audibles in here that will just flat out stop the run if you call it going to the right direction um, they're good in zone and they have good ends so this is kind of a more aggressive actually cover too um, but you do have to know when they're calling run but you know I mean that's football right on ooh, that was horrible on um, running situations you know you call one of these run stoppers and if you call it you're dealing with um, a short game and if you don't with with a team like this then they're probably gonna have a big game running so that's the uh, that's the difference but I mean I like both defenses um, it just depends on the type of team that you have but I mean you could run this one with anybody with decent zone coverage and you know uh, be able to stop the run but you need ends but you need ends let's let's get that that's one thing that uh, must stay the same. Could have went to the back, right? So here's what we're dealing with, guys. The human nature and the tendency is when you have a stunt like this is to go to him, and you certainly should. But, uh, I mean, as we can see, I have the back open right there. He probably could have had it. But Andre's going to have a huge day. Alright, so here I'm just saying, okay, is this guy still going to come out running? Um, and let's see. Uh, yeah, see, I hadn't even put uh, play. See, I, I was, I, I had it in my mind, but that, but this play that I'm taking out, it wasn't quite as dominant with the run as this one. So now all I know is that, now that play though, uh, play three and four, um, if he runs right, I have to flip that if if I want that play to be optimal. It can stop some it can stop some runs to the right if you don't flip it, but if you flip it, then it's gonna stop most runs to the right. So that's something that I had to be conscious of and I and I was. So at this point I'm just looking at how he's lining up. So now I can just, you know, go to play one. Or, or play three or four, and if I guess right, we got him, and and we did. That was a play three or four, because you can see it has uh, good pressure coming up the middle. So this is pretty much going to get him out of his game plan, right? 
and now that's going to allow me to just sick these ends after him and just drop back into one of these great plays that certainly fits uh, this team's capabilities. Uh, that was either a two or a uh, five, guys. Kind of hard to tell. Uh, they're similar, and I didn't look at the at the setup before the play was called. So here I'm just I'm gonna audible into something. I'm not really gonna use these plays. As you can see, did you see me drop that that back, guys? Because if you haven't got the ebook, um, you know we were talking about the Colts were so good that I could do cover two most every time, and they they certainly are. But then I played against a buddy who actually went deep up the sidelines on that. Uh, so then from there, I realized that I need to be dropping the you know against the really really good players who have um, like. I mean, let's say like a Deshaun Jackson or something like that. Well, I mean, he's a little bit different. I mean, he might be able to get up that, you know, um, he might be able to put, here's Cushing again. I think that was a, um, a play six, guys. Um, and I dropped back to safeties. Now, Deshaun Jackson might be able to beat that, well, not might, probably will be able to beat that safety up the deep sideline um, but if you but if you drop them back um, you know then it's not so easy for even Jackson to beat him but just in case I did put in one cover three play into that cover two book but it, but if you drop them back I, I think you can get away with it guys um, and with the, you know with a team like this obviously I, I'm dropping them back every time so it's not a bad idea to you know drop the guys back even if you're running cover two you know with the Colts or the Giants I mean just to make sure and then you don't really have to use that cover three as much I mean unless you're playing with somebody who's just really really awesome and there we, we're gonna run that play um, you will see some good runs and good passes out of this offense so if you wanna know more check out the ebook think again watch this I think this just see this is the type of things you can do with it I mean they're awesome and I mean it never felt I was able to run every time I practice with these guys and Andre Johnson has to be one of the best receiver the best receiver on the game period if you ask me because I think his speed is 94 his strength is 80 Meaning you could run any type of route. You could play him inside or outside. And and when you're watching this game, you're going to see him just make plays. Let's see, there's six. Oh, and the offensive line is good here, guys. Offensive line is good. I don't even think I had to do any adjustments. They were just good. I think Foster is that guy's name. Arian Foster. I could be wrong if his name's Arian, but whatever it is, he's a great back. There's, see, this is what I'm talking about, Andre Johnson. And not only, see, he scores underneath. Wow. The speed 
to um I mean the strength to actually get off the press and the speed to actually finish that play that's rare so there's no need to put your best tight end out wide with this guy his strength is 80 he's stronger than your best tight end so then I mean I have the other tight end out there and so now running outside is, is easy great team here um, I'm telling you guys Oh yeah, guys. So if you guys want me to do some um, teams, do me a favor. Go to the site and go into the forums and do that because this is why I'm doing the Texans because someone requested them and it went right into my email from there. Um, so it's just an easier way for me to get you guys' thoughts and things right uh, right there. So if you're hearing that, go ahead and uh, go to the forums. Uh, I believe this was a play. I think I just actually that was actually I just went into a prevent there. So the, so those sacks are why he's passing is negative twenty two, and it's I mean telling you guys it's going to be hard to pass against these guys. I mean look at play five. Look at play two, all right, and then look at play six. So pretty much, um, if you. Uh, use these plays the, the field is going to be covered especially when you're dealing with people who, whose zone coverages is at 80 or above in most cases the the, the um run stoppers guys in in this pack are play one if they're running left and play three and four if they're running right and play play one can actually stop some of those passes if they're if they if they want to go to um, a specific area. I believe that was just a play four or something. And uh, of course, if if I need to, then I'm going to start spying uh, one of those defensive ends um, into this guy's if he keeps going there, just like on the cover two book. Right. Notice I'm dropping them back, and here's the end again, guys. You don't, you can't do that against this team or the Colts. You know what I mean? You just got to stay in the pocket. But because the zone coverage is so good, you know, then you roll out and try and buy time, and boom, there you got it. Now let's look at play two. You guys are saying, how do you stop the curl routes with that? And it's simple. Look at the positioning of these guys. So if you just go, if they just go blind there, here's another pick like that. Like if you just try and throw hot, well, the throw better be perfect because a guy was actually there. If you touch it, you know, then he can, he can get it. If you fire it, you know, then you're firing over two. If you roll out, um, it's going to be really tough to complete it. If I drop back those safeties, then it's even tougher to hit that area. So to stop that play, I would I would be using um, either play two or play five, guys. I mean, I would just stick to it. I wouldn't get out of it. And if, I mean, if the guy is just awesome, awesome with the sticks, then I might use like a, something like a play one, maybe... Um, something that is covering that area a bit quicker but um i mean you you know just let your hands do their job that's the big o they call that guy So this team, I would say, has the best nicknames for their stars, as far as I'm concerned. I haven't heard anything that's, uh, they call that guy the Big O, and they call Johnson the Natural. I'm just going to see what we can get. Right 
right now I'm telling myself if I can get three or seven, then uh, I pretty much got this guy figured out and the game's in the bag as long as I don't throw some type of pick and let him, you know, score from that. He's going to have a hard time driving on me because uh, the plays that I have in here are able to stop his run and I don't have to adjust out of these plays. Now here's, see, here's Johnson, and he didn't even fall. So pretty much what that's telling you is that um, if I had more field, he could have went to the house. Don't underestimate this team, guys, if you run them like this. I mean, look at this, what I'm saying. Anytime you're dealing with, like, a team that can run, they have a very good quarterback and an outstanding receiver. And then let's just talk about a very good tight end. I mean, the offense is set. And if you ask me, the defense is set if you do it like this because of the ends and because of the great zone coverage. You say, oh, well, they, you know, you can't stop the run. Yes, you can. You can stop the run with play one and play three and four. You just have to know which side they're going to. Now, that's a little different from, you know, teams that, um, you know, let's say have studs all over the field. These guys aren't studs on defense um, except for the ends and the middle linebacker. But what they are is they can play zone coverage. And the ends make them studs because you're going to say, listen, we're going to play a zone coverage, and what you're going to have to do is pick this zone coverage apart, um, and you're not going to have much time to do it. And if you throw blind, we're going to get a high percentage of those. So go ahead and throw blind. Even though you're going to complete some, we're going to stick to this. And if you try and throw underneath, we're going to spy the end. And that's going to take away your first route. So now what? I mean, not spy the end. We're going to spy the tackle. So now what are you going to do? Well, then you're going to have to do that all the way up the field. And eventually, we're going to get you. And so let's say they try and get greedy. And they say, you know what? Well, maybe I can get to those curl flags if I do this. And that's when you can run a play one, and you might you get something. Or play two, if your ends are doing the things. Just remember on play two, guys, make sure, and this is this goes for the cover two book too. I, I, I put this in the in the um, ebook updates, but make sure that you have that left end blitzing up the field. We don't want him stunning like that. Now here's where he has time, but this is what we're talking about on the zone coverage. And the guy in the middle, guys, is a very good backer. So I really would have wanted him to cover that, but it's okay. You know, the ends didn't do their job on that, on that, um, on that particular play, right? Because he had too much time. But for the most part, these guys, these ends are just they're they're just dominating right now, right? Good run. It's okay. And here I think I I think he tries to run again. Let's see. Let's see if I can remember what happened. Now he comes out in three wide, so I think I just go into um a play two or play five. But make it you see I'm dropping them back. Oh no. Oh no. That was a play one. That was a play one. I thought he was faking. But but that's a that that's a good thing. I thought he was gonna draw again. So I went into a play one and as you can see the safety comes up, but guess what? We had three deep there. Here's the end again. I believe that was a play five. Um, you can, and a play six. You can 
rewind that, but I think that was a play six. And of course, I made sure I dropped everybody back. If it wasn't a play six, um, then you'll be able to tell if it was a two or a five. So here I just had a feeling he was going to go for it because he's not understanding why he's getting stopped. It, it, it doesn't feel like he's under pressure, but he really is under pressure because these guys cover very well. And as you can see, he can, uh, he can tell that. And so he just doesn't want to throw into that zone because they're there. They're in a good position. Like if you're playing with a team who doesn't cover zones well, let's see what we do here. Nah, I'm not gonna get that. That was I remember that that was a play four. Um, if uh, actually a, a play five. But if you're playing against, but if you're playing with a team who doesn't do the zone coverage well, then what's gonna happen is they're not gonna take the right depth and things like that, and that quarterback is gonna see a void because they're gonna they're going to take the wrong angle. These guys don't take the wrong angle. And so when that quarterback's dropping back, he's like, oh, man, I can't throw there. And so he looks somewhere else, and guess what? Oh, wow. There's somebody there. And then he tries to roll out, and guess what? There are the ends. All right? So this is, these, this is why you have to call this combination um, of of our zone plays because they work and let's just look at this guy so we're at 10 for 88 so anytime you can get a receiver with 100 yards a running back who's going to get 100 yards and a defense with five or six sacks and a couple of picks I mean you're doing well and it's a, this is against a guy with a, a pretty good record, right? Maybe 16 or 17 games over 500 um, with not that many games played. So obviously we can tell he doesn't know what's going on. So I mean, I am certainly going to put this group of audible packs pack into the ebook because it's a, it's it's a very very good five or six plays that will work with a team like this see this is what we're talking about just gutting them up There's the counter again. See, this is what I'm saying, guys. Now he's over 100 yards. If you call play six, just make sure you drop back to safeties. Play five. Um... I would say you're good. You don't have to drop anything back, but, you know, unless it's a crazy passing situation. And play two, go ahead and drop them back. And then that way, you know, you know you're doing well in terms of doing everything that you can to be both aggressive and safe. What I can't have, even though right here it's just about over, but what I can't have is, um, you know, some type of pick. So he runs it in for 17-14 with three timeouts to go. You know, that's that's what we don't want. So I'm I'm being really safe here because I'm already up two scores.
maybe could have kept going out wide, but uh, maybe he would have beat him out there. That was a tough, tough call. And when you call a nap play, you know, you kind of have to, you know, do a good job of reading. And there's no reason to go for this set right here, guys. I mean, you're just trying to win. That's it. So it'd be interesting to find out. Um, so yeah, guys, if you're running that cover two, um, go ahead and take a look at these audibles. Um, if you've bought the ebook, then what's going to happen is there's going to be a link to this video uh, where the plays and audibles are not blacked out, and so you'll get a a good idea. But um, this is how you stop the run. And obviously let the ends do their job. So I, I, if you ask me, I think this is a little bit better than the cover two for, for like most teams. Because most teams, um, you know, you can't put Bob Sanders at the outside linebacker. And still have great coverage. Oh yeah, watch this. He's going to try and do it again. See, that's what I'm saying. We just dropped him back. Call that. There you go. And no big deal. That's what I was talking about. Or, see, at some point they're going to get frustrated and then start throwing blind. Are they going to complete some? Yes. Are you going to grab some? Yes. Yes. 